Well, it's time to check in with Robin Cross of Stone X. He's located in Chicago. He's our uh, resident expert that talks about the lumber market. And you were telling me during the break before we came on live here, Robin, all kinds of housing data to consider this month. What did we find out? That's it. Good morning, Marlon. Thank you for having me. First, I'll give you the prices. Just uh, we'll go over that real quick. Jan Lumber uh, this morning is four thirty seventy, up seventy cents with only a dozen trades, and obviously that's just post expiration from Tuesday. So uh, naturally, I expected the market to be quiet. March is trading at four forty four forty. That's down ninety cents with a whole one trade. Well, you know, as you were saying, Marlon, we had a whole bunch of housing data that came out. Um, you know, at this time as it does every month. So, so far this morning, breaking, we had housing starts and building permits. Um, housing starts came out at negative uh, 4.2% at 1.425 million. And the indicator of future business, uh, which is building permits, came out down 2.4% at 1.526 million. And uh, let me just take a look at my notes here. It wasn't just uh, those two reports that were negative in housing, literally every report. And I don't know if you were counting, but this is our sixth consecutive month to show weakness across the board. Uh, mortgage applications continue to decline, therefore adding weakness to new home sales, right? New home sales in the U.S. fell 10.9% at a seasonally adjusted annualized rate of 603000 Housing demand literally has been falling sharply since the Fed continues to raise interest rates um, you know, to try and combat this massive inflation. Strangely enough, though, at the same time, housing prices continue to rise across the country with the median selling price of American homes around 428000 And if you were counting, Marlon, that's up 30% from 2020 when the median price was only about 329000 if memory serves me correct. And with uh, mortgage rates sitting just under 6%, I really don't believe the worst and housing is behind us yet, so we got to stay tuned. Now over to lumber futures. On Tuesday, as I was saying, November lumber expired at 454.80, and that was actually up from its 402 swing low that we just had a couple weeks ago. And believe it or not, we actually expired at a $39 premium to the underlying cash um, that Random Blanks reported around 415. Uh, and we didn't rally on the close due to demand or some deliveries. It was just simply a case of shorts overstaying their welcome into an expiring market. So January is now our lead month, and it's just way too early to see a clear path in the future with this one. Uh, there's so many conflicting market elements. On one hand, we know housing's weak and inflation's out of control, and it should continue to depress lumber prices. But on the other hand, we're over 1,050 points off February's 1477 high. And we're well below the current cost of production. Therefore, I would not be surprised at all to see future production curtailments by the mills. You know, and lastly, the seasonality of this market, Marlin, is October. We usually put in our seasonal low, and January tends to start our seasonal spring rally, right? Sometimes we get some false starts in the February of winter. Uh, if we have a really bad kind of extended winter, you'll see some weakness. But I, so I would just say to all the viewers right now, you got to really be careful. I ex I fully expect the mills to make some kind of noise, but if we don't hear anything, we will probably take a, a run at a new low. So this is not a time for speculation. You just really got to kind of watch and see how this market plays out here through the holidays. Well, I appreciate all the information and thanks for the update. And by the way, just wanted to take a quick aside here and Robin, wish you a happy birthday. You've been with us for several years and uh, never had a chance to tell you live on the day it happened. So anyway, best wishes to you today there, Robin. Thank you, Marlon. Thank you. That made my day, buddy. I appreciate you. <laughs> all right. Wish you all the best. Uh, thanks for all the help today. Again, Robin Cross of Stone X in Chicago. We'll come back in a moment and we'll run through our livestock trade on a Thursday after this.